Oh, really? Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, anyway. What's up, bro? Who was that? Oh, just somebody that's got some recycled plastic, but they can't get it over to us. Well... Let's go get it from them. Who doesn't love St. Patrick's Day? But since we can't celebrate in the normal way this year, our friends over at Carhartt and Guinness have asked us to build something for their Make Your Own Parade campaign. Inspired by some of those awesome parade floats, we've come up with our very own recycle wagon to take out on the road. Outside our workshop, we have a drop-off point so that our local community can leave their plastic for us to turn into brand new products. However, not everyone's able to get to us at the moment, so we're gonna hitch our recycle wagon to the back of a bike and take it to them. And of course, we wanna build this out of recycled plastic, so we're busting out some of our brand new machines to help speed this along. First up is Shreddy Kruger, which is our beastie shredding machine. Once we've got enough material to work with, it's time to fire up the extruder. This machine feeds plastic through the heating elements and pumps out as a continuous stream. For this project, we're going to attach our rectangular beam mold and these will form the frame of our trailer. All of our machines have come from our friends over at Plasticpreneur. If you're interested in taking your recycling to the next level, check out the link in the description. Their machines are awesome. That came out great and the beam looks solid. However, it took about half an hour to fill and another hour to cool. Considering that we need about 20 of these and we've only got five days to do this project, I think we need to come up with a plan B. So we've come here to see if our friends at Reform Plastics can help us out. These guys supply 100% recycled plastic beams in long lengths and they're UV stabilized, which means they don't degrade when they're out in the sun. They use them to build outdoor furniture, but these look ideal for what we need for our recycle wagon. Right, so we've got the frame all laid out now. We're pretty happy with the shape. The only thing is, these are probably a bit chunky than they need to be. So we thought if we rip them down the middle, that'll save them a lot of the weight. And it also means we don't have to measure all of this out again. Recycled plastic is such a nice material to work with. You can cut and shape it the same way as you can with wood, but it doesn't have any of the weaknesses, like knots or when you try and screw into end grain. Winning. Okay, we've got two sides framed out, so that's the flat sides done. Now to make it into a 3D shape, we need to connect it all together with some cross pieces. So this thing's really starting to take shape now. We've actually gone back and bolted all these cross beams in place just to make it super sturdy. We've also cleaned out all of these sharp edges. Next up is to get this thing rolling. So we're gonna mount a pair of these wheels that we've repurposed from an old kid's bike. Once 
One of our favorite techniques we discovered when trying to join two pieces together is to drill an undersized hole in one piece and then drill a larger clearance hole in the piece you need to attach. You can then pop a piece of threaded bar in your drill chuck and use it to tap the hole and bolt it all together. This is super quick to do and makes for a really strong joint. So that's the frame basically done, but to give it some extra rigidity, we're going to add some plywood sides. To make sure this doesn't get too heavy, we're lightweighting those panels and then using pocket holes to attach it to the frame. We're cladding the whole trailer in more recycled plastic, but we're going to rip it down to be a little bit thinner. Don't worry, we're keeping all of these shavings for use in future projects. After cutting those holes in the plywood, we actually quite like the idea of having some windows. So we're adding some clear acrylic so we can see how much plastic we're collecting on the way. You may have noticed some of our brand new threads. These are part of Carhartt and Guinness's limited edition St. Patrick's Day line. So if you want some for yourself, check out the link in the description. But whatever you're doing this St. Patrick's Day, be sure to share how you're celebrating by tagging Carhartt and using the hashtag make your own parade. Speaking of parades, the orange and green is all well and good, but I think we can do more. So it's back over to our extruder and this time we're using a cylindrical beam mold to make ourselves a pair of flagpoles. Huzzah! Since we've got two of these, you know what that means. Obligatory sword fight out of the way, we just need to drill a couple of holes so that we can add a few of our own custom flags. So do you remember that beam that we made earlier? We're actually going to use it as a hitching point to attach the trailer to the bike. Just reinforce that toe beam with some aluminium angle as this thing is really starting to pack some weight now. 
So next we're going to attach the tow hitch so that we can get this thing connected to my bike. We're connecting it to my bike. I'm the older brother, it's going on my bike. I think I have an idea. <laughs> 